The next month or so is going to be a big one for COD fans across existing content and updates as well as upcoming content updates. But as well, perhaps the most notable of those things is in the near future, that Modern Warfare 2 reveal happening and likely the inclusion of some gameplay being showcased shortly afterwards. Now, we've talked a lot about Modern Warfare 2 lately. In fact, four of our last five videos were talking about Modern Warfare 2, and honestly, that wasn't planned. Just more and more insight kept dropping out of nowhere and felt the need to keep you guys in the loop. But today, I want to take a step back here and talk a little bit about some of the future upcoming content in regards to Warzone, as well as Vanguard to a degree, and some of the weaponry here that we have seen leaked recently that have some big hints behind it. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What weapon would you like to see added into the game here in the near future? Anything you'd add to your dream arsenal? Feel free to drop it down below. But if you enjoy the video, if you find it at all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on the video. And if you're new to the channel, do be sure to the subscribe button to stay updated with all things Warzone. And of course, Modern Warfare 2 content here as the upcoming reveals get closer and closer. And finally, make sure to check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage for the best blue light glasses on the market, but more on them in just a little bit. For now though, let's jump into it. First, I think it's kind of important to set the stage here for what we can expect in the upcoming weeks. A bit of a timetable to maybe gauge your interests in Call of Duty, perhaps, because maybe you'll be interested in one aspect more than others. Now, this upcoming week here is the final week of Operation Monarch, meaning that Operation Monarch LTM with Godzilla versus Kong and the Titan Frenzies and all that kind of stuff that was additional here on that. That's going to be going away after this upcoming week. Curiously, though, we don't know much more about the event itself, while there's still a handful of things we haven't quite seen happen just yet. Most notably, the Easter egg that has been mentioned here for the event. We've seen that there are radio logs and everything like that that tell some story about the Monarch company and things like that, but there seemed to be something teased bigger than that. So maybe there's something coming with a mid-season update that caps off the event with maybe a trailer release for the upcoming Legendary Pictures Monsterverse introduction, either a new movie announcement or maybe that rumored HBO show. It seems just odd to have this partnership among others to promote real-life franchises recently and then not have anything come of it just yet, especially when they said there would be a payoff of some kind. But speculation aside, this upcoming week is that last week to take advantage of the LTM and ultimately then to try and get that blueprint reward for completing all the challenges associated with it. After that, come the 25th, that's when we're likely going to see, I'd say, probably a 99% probability that we see our mid-season update at that point. And that's for a number of reasons. Number one, we need a title update to remove all the changes here made to Caldera and the Warzone experience for Operation Monarch, but also introduce new quality of life changes and other big things coming to Warzone that have been teased along the way. Number two, Classified Arms, that season three name, is only detailed up until the week of May 19th, i.e. this week and the next seven days to follow. With those weekly playlist previews that we usually get, that's something that it doesn't have anything pretty beyond that point. And number three, on the time left on the season with what's upcoming, we don't really have any other point in the next month really to drop a mid-season update unless it was like what I think what season five or whatever it was in Modern Warfare was where they dropped the mid-season update two weeks before the next season. Never really made much sense to me, but the battle pass is running down to that midpoint here with this and with so much upcoming in the weeks following, it makes sense. After the 25th, that's when we'll likely see things breathe for a little bit, allowing players to experience the new coming content and digest it all there. And previously it was rumored about a week after that update is when we'd see the reveal of Modern Warfare 2, though that seems to be a little bit longer and further down the road now, just by a few days. That target date now being June 8th for a reveal and then 9th for the gameplay of campaign being showed off at Summer Games Fest. In between that point, though, I'd imagine we see some teasers here and there for what's described. The second could be that final teaser date ahead of the reveal on the 8th but that week of June 6th, I would imagine, is exclusively reserved for Modern Warfare 2 hype and official reveals. And then after that, that's when things start to die down. We'll see some intel come out about Modern Warfare 2, and then about two weeks later, we'll be jumping into Season 4. Right now, slated for the 22nd of June, if that current timer on the Battle Pass isn't changed from now until then. So, a kind of busy month, right? But how does it relate back to weaponry? Well, with Season 3, we got the M1916 and the Nikita AVT, and we also got that Sledgehammer as a melee weapon. But... Also curiously missing from our armories right now is the H4 Blixen, a weapon that is mentioned to be coming in season and has really been under the radar in terms of any marketing. I don't know if it's from the lack of attention or care to Vanguard or what, but outside of the announcement blog for season three, I generally don't think that I've seen the name H4 Blixen anywhere since then. But this will be an SMG that's classified as a more experimental weapon, and they didn't really give any details on that. But beyond Season 3, that's where things get a little bit interesting, because recently, leakers and data miners have found more on the horizon. This time coming from Reality UK, who we've mentioned here on the channel, a little while back he tweeted some assets from the game files in Vanguard, thus also coming to Warzone, that pointed towards two new ARs and one new melee weapon. Now, the melee weapon and the other AR is a little bit in terms that minimal information. There's not a whole ton out there, and this is compounded on some stuff we've already seen here that is data mined for future seasons as well. But the one that really is fascinating to me is one that he showcased that with the 
the name of S4 underscore AR underscore F November 2000. So for those that aren't familiar with how naming is designated for assets, especially weaponry, this gives away so much. But once we actually know what it is, it gets even weirder. Firstly, S4 is the designation for Season 4, so this won't be coming in any capacity earlier than that, and it is possible even this could be a launch weapon, a mid-season weapon, or potentially even delayed further, so it doesn't even launch in Season 4, but the intention looks like it is going to be Season 4. AR is the designation for, of course, Assault Rifle, but then the name F November 2000. Weapon names usually start with the same alphabetic sort of designation you'll see on weapons that start with letters, but then they'll usually finish on the NATO phonetic alphabet in lettered weapon variants. So for example, the MP5 is the M Papa 5. The AK-47 is the A Kilo 47. The FAL is the FA Lima and so on. So FN November would be FN and then 2000. Well, that's odd because that's a gun that we haven't seen since Modern Warfare 2, the original, under the name of F2000. But what makes this even weirder is that why would we see the F2000 or FN2000 in a World War II game? Well, we've already seen that realism's kind of out the window for Vanguard, and frankly, I don't quite care about that. It's an arcade shooter that's kind of struggled to uphold realism in the past, keeping people happy without losing the identity of the franchise, so I'm all for it. I say screw realism here and that, and of course, we just saw Godzilla vs. King Kong in Warzone, zone so like is that really even a question of oh but realism so this seems perfectly fine to me but it's also something that's really interesting that could be maybe looking way too deep into it and tinfoil hat theory but season four launches at the end of june right so if this is being added into the files, it's possible that we won't see this in regards to the launch of Season 4. I think there are a couple other weapons that were already detailed here beforehand that may take priority over that, but that also means that if it's a mid-season weapon, there's that possibility this could be a direct correlation to Modern Warfare 2 sometime in July as we gear up for the future of multiplayer hands-on over the summer. Similar to what we maybe saw with Vanguard and Warzone pre-launch of Vanguard, we have that STG and the M1 added in for use, so maybe the F2000 is being added in as some experimental weaponry or something like that that the Reich ended up getting their hands on within Season 4 that comes over into Vanguard and then also into Warzone. I don't know exactly how they'd take it, but it is a possibility that this could be a way to directly transfer players over, getting them ready for a summer of playable demos in the way of the Alpha and the Beta, and inevitably the full launch, especially if we don't end up seeing a Season 6 coming like rumored for Vanguard, with Modern Warfare 2 launching a little earlier than we may all anticipate. So, that could very well be something that is coming, a Modern Warfare 2 weapon, a little preemptively within Warzone, and maybe even Vanguard as well. So that is just really weird to see how this all shapes up, but is incredibly fascinating to me. So that said, that's what we're going to call it. But before we wrap everything up, a reminder, check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage. They're a blue light glasses company that I'll absolutely swear by. I've used their stuff for well over a year now, and I don't think that I'll ever go back. As somebody who's working at their desk for 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day or more, mostly working at my computer, gaming, getting footage of stuff here for the videos, eye strain and fatigue is absolutely something that I've struggled to combat over the years. I've used those $15 pairs off Amazon, and let me tell you, man, nothing compares at all to Gamer Advantage. What you pay for is absolutely what you get, which that's the highest quality and comfort, durability, and clinically proven effectiveness. For me, I'm a huge fan of the Horizon frames. They're the most lightweight, and honestly, sometimes I even forget I have them on. So if you'd like to learn more, check the link in the description below, and if you'd like to pick something up, use code ESPRESSO, and you'll end up saving an additional 10% off your order. But that said, that's what we're going to call it, so I'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down below. Do you think we'll be seeing some Modern Warfare 2 weapons slowly trickle into the playable loot pool here within Warzone and potentially even Vanguard? Do you think this may just be a misinterpreted Leak. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 2, all things Warzone, anything COD related, we got you covered. So if you guys are at all interested, I love diving in the community. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.